Coordinating conjunctions. A coordinating conjunction is a word that joins words, phrases, or independent clauses. There are seven types of coordinating conjunctions. For, and, nor, but, or, yet. So. An easy way to remember these coordinating conjunctions is to remember F-A-N-B-O-Y-S Fanboys Now let's go through each use of a coordinating conjunction. Coordinating conjunctions join words, join phrases and join independent clauses. Let's begin with how a coordinating conjunction joins words. We use coordinating conjunctions to join nouns, verbs, adverbs and adjectives. Let's go through some examples. He ate pizza and chips. Pizza and chips are nouns. So coordinating conjunctions join nouns. She sang and danced in the pouring rain. Sang and danced are verbs. Therefore, coordinating conjunctions join verbs. She's recovering from the accident, slowly but surely. Slowly and surely are adverbs. So coordinating conjunctions join adverbs. The building was old yet beautiful. Old and beautiful are adjectives. It's important to note that if we have more than two things, then we have to place a comma between each thing in the list. For example, I bought apples, bananas, oranges and grapes. So here I have a list of four nouns. Therefore, a comma is required after each noun. Whether a comma is required just before the conjunction is a difference between British and American English. When the comma comes before the conjunction, it's called an Oxford comma. Now let's look at how coordinating conjunctions join phrases. So, phrases are small groups of words that make up part of a clause. Sanya ordered some items but didn't receive them. The subject is Sanya and the verb phrases are ordered some items and didn't receive them. When joining phrases, we don't need to put a comma before the conjunction. Lastly, let's look at how coordinating conjunctions can join independent clauses. So, an independent clause is a sentence that makes sense on its own. It contains a subject and a verb. Therefore, if we're joining two independent clauses, we can use a conjunction. This allows you to speak more fluently rather than speaking in short sentences. Remember, we always need to use a comma before the conjunction when joining independent clauses. For example, I love playing football. I don't like playing tennis. These are two independent clauses. They both have subjects and verbs. 
and they both make sense on their own. However, I can join both of these independent clauses using a conjunction. I love playing football, but I don't like playing tennis. Remember, we need to put the comma before the coordinating conjunction. As well as coordinating conjunctions, independent sentences can be joined using conjunctive adverbs. These are commonly used just like coordinating conjunctions. Examples of conjunctive adverbs are however, moreover, furthermore, meanwhile, etc. For example, I want to go to the park. It's raining outside. So here are examples of independent clauses. Both clauses make sense on their own. However, I can join them using a conjunctive adverb. So there are two ways I can do this. The first is to use a semicolon before the conjunctive adverb, followed by a comma and then the next clause. Like this. I want to go to the park However, it's raining outside. The next way is to end the first clause and begin the next clause with the conjunctive adverb, followed by a comma. I want to go to the park. However, it's raining outside. To summarise, when joining two words, we don't need to use a comma. However, if there are a list of words in the sentence, then we must place a comma between each word and just before the conjunction. When joining phrases, we don't need to use a comma in the sentence. When joining independent clauses, we place a comma before the coordinating conjunction. As for conjunctive adverbs, we place a semicolon before the conjunctive adverb, followed by a comma. Or, we can end the first clause with a full stop and then start the next sentence with a conjunctive adverb, followed by a comma. Also, remember to use the word fanboys to help you remember the seven coordinating conjunctions. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so.